Hello, how to solve this problem? This is n times n times n equals 1 divided by 8. Now, n times n is n power 2 times n. This is n to the power of 3. And this equals 1 divided by 8. Now, if you have 1, I can simply express it as 1 to the power of 3. And also, if you have 8, I can express it as 2 to the power of 3. Now I'm going to replace this one here with 1 power 3. And for the 8, I'm going to replace it with 2 power 3. So my equation becomes n power 3 equals 1 power 3 divided by 2 power 3. Now consider the fact that the exponent here and the exponent here are the same. If you have a power c divided by b power c, this equals a divided by b raised to the power of c. So that means I'm going to have n power 3 equals 1 divided by 2, and this is raised to the power of 3. So I can decide to move this over here. And this becomes negative 1 divided by 2 to the power of 3. So we'll have n power 3 minus 1 divided by 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. So right now, I have power 3 here. And I also have power 3 here. So if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. And in this case, my a is n and b is 1 over 2. So, for a minus b, I'm going to have n minus 1 over 2 times a squared, that is n squared, plus a b, that is n times 1 over 2 plus b squared, that is 1 over 2 to the power of 2, and this equals 0. So right now, I'll have n minus 1 over 2 times n squared, plus this multiplies this, I have n divided by 2, plus this means I'm going to distribute this exponent to each of the terms here, that is 1 power 2, divided by 2 power 2, and this equals 0. So from here, I have n minus 1 over 2 times n squared plus n divided by 2 plus 1 power 2, that is 1 divided by 2 power 2, that is 4, and this equals 0. So right now, I'm going to equate each of these two 0. I have n minus 1 over 2 equals 0. Or I have n squared plus n divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 4 equals 0. So let's solve these individual equations. We start with the first one here. I have n minus 1 over 2 equals 0 meaning that n equals 1 over 2. That is my n1. Now to solve this other equation, I need to consider finding the LCM. This is n squared plus n divided by 2 plus 1 over 4 equals 0. This is over 1. The common LCM here is 4. 4 divides 1, 4, 4 times n squared is this. 4 n squared plus 4 divides 2, 2, 2 times n. That's 2 n plus 4 divides 4, 1, 1 times 1, we have 1. And this equals 0. And this 0 is over 1. Next thing to do is to cross multiply. That means the 4 n squared plus 2 n plus 1 will multiply 1. I have 4n squared plus 2n plus 1 equals 4 times 0, I have 0. So I'm going to solve this quadratic equation using the formula method. 
So we write the formula in respect to n. Formula n equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Now a equals the equation of n squared, that is 4. b equals the equation of n, that is 2. c equals 1. Now, inserting them here, we have n equals negative b, negative 4 plus or minus square root of b squared, plus 4 power to minus 4 times 4 times 1, divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times 4. So right now, we have n equals negative 4, plus or minus square root of 4 squared, which is 16 minus 4 times 4, 16 times 1, that is. Oh, sorry, what is our b? There's an issue here. b is 2, b is not 4, b is 2, look at it here, b is 2. So, I come over here, I need to change it to 2, because we actually had 16 minus 16 there, so this is, 2, this is 2 squared, so this will be 4, and this is negative 2, this is 16, and this is divided by 2 times a, that is a, have you seen that? So right now we are on track, you have n equals negative 2, plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16, this is negative 12, divided by 8. So from here we have n equals negative 2 plus or minus, there's minus here, of square root of negative 1 times square root of 12, divided by 8. So from here, I have n equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 raised i times square root of 12, this is 4 times 3, that is 12, divided by 8. So from here, I have n equals, this is negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4 times square root of 3 divided by 8. So from here I have n equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4, this is 2, we have root 3 divided by 8. And 2 divided itself, divide this, divide this, we have 4. So this is negative 1 plus or minus i times root 3 divided by 4. So now we have two complex values for n. We have n2 equals, we can factor out 1 over 4 from here. Of 1 over 4 of negative 1, I take the positive 1 first, plus i root 3. And n3 equals 1 over 4 times negative 1, take the negative minus i root 3. So these are the two complex values. And we also have one real value for n, which is this particular value, which is 1 over 2. This 1 over 2 here. So we can decide to check. We can check for the real value of n. Our n equals 1 over 2. So this will be n times n times n equals 1 over 8, meaning 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 equals 1 over 8. And 1 over 2 times 1, 1 times 1 times 1, that is 1, divided by 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. And this equals 1 over 8. Left hand side, right hand side, the same. So, guys, this is it. This is how we solve it. Thank you and goodbye.